I can't say there was like a defining moment, but I have to say that when my uh, uncle died, who was my role model, uh, I decided the one thing I wanted to do was to make every day count. And um, even if I died when I was 21 like he did, that I would never have a regret. And so I've tried to live my life where I've never looked backward and I've always looked forward. And that's, I think, enabled me to take some risks that I might not have taken on my own. One other thing that defined my childhood, which I really was so important to me, was uh, I used to uh, spend a lot of time in summer camp. I ended up as a counselor. And I think a lot of the life skills I learned, I learned uh, in summer camp because you live with other people, you have to learn to get along, you have to learn, learn to work as a team. And then I ended up as the head counselor of this camp. It's where I met my husband too, so it had a pretty profound impact on my life. And I was one of the people who was one of the early um, organizers of the Close Up Foundation, which has brought about a million kids to Washington to learn to find their voice and learn about politics and government. And uh, I was with Close Up from its inception till it became a national program. And still am on the board today, 37 years later. So that had a profound impact. And it was from my work at Close Up that I basically uh, got this idea um, and was recruited by Arnold and Porter to start APCO in 1984. Being a woman and starting a business is a challenge by itself, but when you try to do that on a global basis, it's even more challenging. Today we are majority woman-owned, we are majority employee-owned, and we have uh, men and women uh, in about equal amounts, uh, 550 of us. I think my most proud business accomplishment, when I get to sit back, I just think about all the people who are part of this firm. And we have an incredible, incredible group of people. And every day I come to work, I learn something new from them. And I think that's the greatest feeling of all, that I could have created an environment that would have been attractive to these wonderful people, some of whom have been in very senior positions in government and some of whom are just out of college. And to have everybody come together and work as a team, it's really just a fantastic um, feeling.